Researchers at Oxford say that drinking any amount of alcohol causes brain damage. That explains why Mambo, Hernam, Springle, Fink, Butt Bubble, Moo Moo, Pink Tater, Potter, ZB. Don't adjust your brainwaves. We'll know soon enough if they're technically correct. everybody and welcome to technically correct we're geeks who drink no matter what the hell oxford researchers say and we're here to have fun with knowledge with you the audience in fact this first round is expressly designed to pit us versus you so listen up our director aj is going to give us 10 questions that we have no prior knowledge of none i keep asking and they tell me nothing anyway we panelists will have two minutes to debate and then finally choose an answer. Meanwhile, you, yes, you, will have one minute to answer the question in chat. Just type exclamation point, the word vote, a space, and then one of the choices. Oh, did I forget to mention that you get multiple choice options? You do. Don't spend them all in one place. At the end of the two minute timer, we will compare our collective answer to your collective answer, and eventually we'll find out who's smarter. Usually it's you, but then again, no one can tell if you're Googling. We're on camera. Last order of business before the merriment begins. I'm Christopher Short, the Quizmaster in Chief, and the rest of our panel is DC's best, Nicole Holiday. Albuquerque's pretty goodest, Eric Cohen. And Texas's whatever, Katie Desi. She likes turtles. All right. That's it. That's the end of my script for that part, which must mean it's time for AJ to take over. AJ, what's our first question tonight? Oh, we have a question tonight, don't we? Let's get into the first one. The closest living relative of T. rex is what animal found on your dinner plate? Arnold Schwarzenegger. I feel like this question was written by a Floridian. All kinds of animals on their dinner plates. They plate don't use there. plates in Florida. <laughs> Fair point. Fair there goes all our Florida viewers. <laughs> Say that was quick. <laughs> Just right out the gate running. Who's next? I you know, they were going to stop watching when their house wound up in the ocean anyway. All right. Um, I thought that was California. Interesting. It's just like the fire. fire. Really? I mean, yeah. They got fires and mudslides and Florida's just sinking. and. I was on a mudslide once. I drank a mudslide once. I... Those are good. <laughs> Aren't they? I had a yeah, mudslide yeah. after eating Excellent. Taco Bell. Thank you. There we go. I had a mudslide every time I have dairy. Good night, everyone. I was, I was waiting, <laughs> waiting for that one to come. This through. isn't going anywhere good. No, no, no. And no that's we, the we're end admitted, of the are, show. We're not a minute in if we've we've hit insulting Florida and diarrhea. So I think we're. Which is, I mean, like I'm on a roll. Isn't that basically the same <laughs> thing? As long as you're not rolling in the diarrhea. Oh we're no, I don't live in Florida. <laughs> When you're sliding into first and you the feel letters. Like oh, man. Apologies right. in Florida. Who, who answers the helpline? So we, we apologize. In Florida? To that. No, our, our helpline. The dinosaur helpline? Yeah. Maybe. You know what? Who doesn't answer the dinosaur helpline is T-Rex because it's got those little arms. So, okay. No, so, so I have two guesses <laughs> and I could be persuaded either way. And that is chicken or alligator. I think it's chicken because it's people chicken. don't eat alligators outside they do uh, i've had alligator on a yeah. stick it is delicious you fry it and you dip it in shit at the renaissance festival it's but just a less common dinner that's all i'm saying i do remember so you've literally it's described terrible. something not being served on a dinner plate but kebab well, I remember... not, I mean, where do you think how do you think 
they get it to you. They don't like launch it across the room or so anything. So we got five seconds left. And I do remember that like, uh, from, you know, Jurassic Park and the Velociraptors, they were depicted as way too big. They're really about the size of a chicken. I think the chickens are actually, you know, they got the cloaca thing going. I, I believe that dinosaurs are most closely related to birds. And so my answer would be chicken. Every good group. Yes, agreed. I'm still going Schwarzenegger, yeah. my original guess, but... Katie AJ, sticks with Schwarzenegger. Everybody else agrees on chicken. Once again, Katie is wrong. The correct answer is chicken. That was the first yeah. thing I said. <laughs> After I said Schwarzenegger. <laughs> but you stuck with your original answer, Katie. What did the chat say? The chat uh, 100% said chicken this evening. Mm. Not even one write-in for Schwarzenegger? No, no, Katie. You got, know how to you got no it. support this evening. Yeah. All right, let's go right into question two, shall we? Question number two tonight. 5,000-year-old wine residue was found in the tomb of Scorpion I, an ancient king of what nation? Oh, I saw that movie. It had Dwayne The Rock Johnson in it. <laughs> Scorpion. It <laughs> was a good movie. The Scorpion CGI looks the something first... to be desired. I feel like was uh, what the was was Godsmack actually a nation? Because I feel like that's a, the right answer. <laughs> oh no! <Scorpion laughs> no wherever wherever, wherever it was from, I do assume that that is where all future WWE uh, humans descended from. That does sound like a WWE name or a Mortal yeah. Kombat playable. Was Mortal Kombat set in a nation? Uh, it's a good question. I just saw the that's movie. I don't remember. They were lean on plot. I feel like there's probably one of those personal sovereignty people living like in Arizona who calls his, you know, the, the area around his double wide scorpion nation. And that could have something to do with this question. I don't know. He goes by Scorpion King, but actually is unaware of the Rocks movie or he's yeah, been there for the money franchise. Years. He just saw Tiger <laughs> King and was like, I like that. Yeah. Huh. I, I mean, it. it I mean, five thousand. That's got to make it like it's old. Egypt, Macedonia. There, as yeah. as how old? I mean, Aztec and Inca, not that old, right? Not that old. No, they're like yeah, like fourteenth century things like that. Um, Peloponnesia. Yeah. I think that's a country. I'm gonna say it anyway, like it's it is a, one. Sure, it's just so it their Peloponnesian Empire. Like that's a yeah. thing, right? You're going too hard. I'm pretty sure. Is it just? You think it's just Egypt? Egypt. <laughs> yeah, Egypt feels pretty safe on this. Yeah. It, so yeah. that, that uh, here's the deal. Any time an answer feels mm -hmm. safe, I automatically assume that's not the answer. This is. How diabolical do you think our editorial department is? We were warned the questions we would not get right. So I feel like if we go with something that seems right, we'll be wrong. <laughs> we, we were warned by our very follow. unreliable uh, executive producer that the, that we were not going to get anything right tonight. <laughs> How do you not trust her any further than Isn't, isn't she her. also a fact checker? <laughs> Uh, she, she also said that well. she also said they made some stuff up, so they may have made up a country for that. All right, your time is also, up. Are we good with, so uh, with Egypt is the answer to this one? Yeah, I think okay. I am. Yeah. Are we going universally with Egypt? Well, you're all right. It is Egypt. Oh. The chat also agreed with Goodness. you one hundred percent. I'm telling we are all in. I was, really I, was I was hoping that Katie was about to just lead you off a cliff there. <laughs> I think mean, I think we are all in for a mind fuck. That's what I think. The answer think is Toledo. The answer is Toledo. <laughs> the, the I five... think it was a, a I think this is a slow burn long con on Diana's part. She got all freaked out, then we get some right, and then we feel secure, and then it's just like Fuck you, it's all wrong. Well, let's testing that with question three, shall we, AJ? Question number three. Frank Sinatra, Fetty Wap, and Usher all had hit songs with what title? Okay. Uh, Fetty Wap? Fetty, Fetty Wap. <laughs> I, I think, put some respect on his name. Fetty Wap. Wap. Wap, wap, I wasn't wap. sure if it was WAP or WAP, and I decided to go with WAP because it felt like less racist. <laughs> All right, so so here's so it's That's, it's interesting, okay. right? Because Usher had one song. It's the only song that matters, and that's yeah. And I didn't know that Frank Sinatra Whoa. covered that. Oh my goodness! Can Usher disrespect <laughs> Katie? Uh, let it burn. Uh, yeah, it was better. 
Um, okay. No, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah. You make me Usher, happy. I believe, yeah. is the best-selling artist yeah. of, Confessions, like, part one and fucking just, yeah. just, yeah, on a loop from here to the end of eternity. That is all that I'm interested in. And really, just him saying, yeah, actually, just that one word on a Love loop. Love in this club? That, yeah. And yeah. federal law requires me to remind you, facetiously, that he also showed every single one of his ticket buyers to their seats which I thought was fantastic. Oh, All right. Is that true? His no, name, Christopher just made the one joke you guys. about Usher you could possibly think of. Oh, I get it now. Oh. <laughs> also, his house <laughs> fell, and that was a book. All right, let's go. He did um, appear in the movie Hustlers. That was excellent. He oh, he was okay. also in The Faculty, which was a ridiculously good movie. You guys, Do you want to know the answer? Because I know the answer. Is it, is it High Hopes? Hmm. No, that's like a... Of Wait, no, I want to try guessing. Is it? Is it <laughs> oh, no, uh, that is. So that is a I just want to hear Katie name songs that it could be. Well, no, no, hang on. Hi, hang on. Hear me out here. High Hopes was indeed <laughs> the name of a Frank Sinatra song. It is also the sure. name of, of a song covered by Fallout. It wasn't covered by, it was a totally different song, but it also is called yeah. High Hopes by Fallout Boy. It's so it stands to reason. Is Fallout Boy an option people... and I missed it? <laughs> no, no, I was going to say, it stands to reason that some of those other people also had a song called High Hopes. It's very generic sounding. Let Eric name. guess. I want Eric's guesses. Um, my way. My way. Yes. She likes it my way. Oh, that makes that's the Usher version. What is who, what is what is a Fetty Wap? Uh, he's saying Trap Queen, which probably you know. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. And nothing to do with the uh, Nicki Minaj song. And, and, All right, that uh, is the end of our time, panelists. It's <laughs> totally different thing. What What is your final answer? Cardi B, son of a bitch, I did it again. That is not our answer. <laughs> that is not our answer. <laughs> B, I feel so bad. I love that song. No, I think Nicole's right with high. No, it's not high. It's my way. It's going to be, uh, yeah. My no, way. <laughs> my way. <laughs> Thing that Eric uh, said. It is in fact Hi. my way. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Chat also yeah. agreed with that 100 percent Be very, very quiet. I'm weighing down a whap too. All right. Um <laughs> a little Homer Fudd joke for you guys. We've got one more before break. I kind of wish we didn't at this point, but we do. So AJ, give us question four and put us out of our fucking misery. All right, last question of the first act. Used wet wipes and cooking oil can congeal into boulder-sized sewer blocks known as what bergs? That's actually what I had for lunch today. I hope it's snot berg. I really do. <laughs> wow. This the imagery is too vivid. It is a little bit oil and wet. Right, I, I, sure I know this one, but I gotta, I gotta wait until I can't, I can't say it yet because, because the chat because, you, because it's also going to sound racist. Yeah, we're not, you're not getting a free ride from me. What um, I want to know is know it, what? I used to live in New York, and this is some shit that happens in those series. Oh, yeah. like we're really? Yeah. Periodically, they'd show it on the news. Like those flushable wipes, not really flushable. I, no. What I want to know is why are people flushing cooking oil down the drain? They're not, oh, but they are. The they're pouring sewer. it down the drain. Yeah, they're pouring it down the drain. The drains end up in the same do. spot. The you cannot sink. do that. You don't do that. No, you don't do that. No, you don't do that. Who's, or else the, you get these, these things. Yeah. What are these heathens doing? Public service announcement from Geeks Who Drink don't throw all it on the train. It's true. So I really, I don't, I have no idea. Put what it the in an old coffee can. Like I have grandma. no idea what the answer is. I hope it's like Shitberg though, because I like it's sewer and it's yeah. wipes. <laughs> Shitberg or Snotberg. If it is not one of those, we You're need to close. make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Poopberg, Crapberg, not that close. Dungberg, Dinkleberg. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is it is it a body fluid bird? Eric, I think it's your time to shine. <laughs> well, it is. It is a fat bird. I Not to be had, confused with a fat burger. I was going to say, I had that on the Las Vegas Street. It is delicious. So good. It, it is a fat burger, and it's a, it's a real fucking problem uh, all around the country, especially places in New York where it's uh, uh, older sewer systems. <laughs> they couldn't have hmm. predicted flushable wipes. Flushable. No. I don't think <laughs> Are they not flushable? They're, They're not. not. No. So it's basically it's, it's, it's in the wipes. name. I feel like I mean, that is they a... will go down your toilet. In that sense, they're flushable. 
It's just then they just stop like at the edge of your property and then all of a sudden your house is full of poop. I wonder if that's an evil plot by plumbers to drum up business. You might be onto something there, Katie. All no, right. I, plumber viewers. If there's a lawyer, true. look into the lawsuit for us. <laughs> I think that uh, Fatberg is would be my answer as well. So, uh, team, we're good with that. AJ, is it Fatberg? It is, in fact, Fatberg. This is the only time I wish our timer still ended with a siren so that I could have screamed Fatberg ahead. <laughs> You can do it anyway. Like no, that's a, now, now the joke's gone. It's, it's the moment's gone. passed. Yes. You know speaking what, uh, speaking of minutes and then do it. Speaking of moments, I think it's time for a break. Yes, that brings us halfway through our first round and up to our first commercial break of the evening. Subscribers, go get yourself a drink. You deserve it. Non-subscribers, stay right here and watch every fucking second of these ads. You deserve that. We'll see you soon. Welcome back to Technically Correct, the Geeks Who Drink panel show. Remember, you can join in the fun. Every time AJ asks a question, you'll have one minute to type an exclamation point, the word vote, a space, and then your answer from the multiple choice options that we give you in chat. AJ, what's our next question? Oh, our next question is, if you order one without... One whiz without. You foolishly want a Philly cheesesteak sans what topping? Hmm. I mean, when if I say I have to take a whiz, that's I'm taking a piss. Every week there's a question about Philadelphia, and I work at the University of Pennsylvania. <laughs> and every week I miss the question about I was, Philadelphia. I was hoping Honestly. you were going to say, and I was born and raised on the playground. That's where I spent most of my days, but you didn't. <laughs> I did see that Google Easter egg yesterday, though. The Fresh Prince Easter egg. So nice. That's the battle. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Katie jumps immediately to pee. And of course, that's kind of what I think of when I think of Philly is just everything smells like pee. Um, but I don't think that's what our answer is here. <laughs> a dirty a dirty town i love you philadelphia I, I mean here's the problem i know what i assume it is but i don't understand why you're calling it a whiz all right well i can definitely give you some insight as to that i mean like there's, there's basically like there's the two like you know holy holy kinds of cheese that you put on a cheesesteak right then you got the like provolone. Swiss and american you got provolone you got whiz you got whiz yeah. You're not serious right now, are you? Yes. I mean, yes cheese, cheese whiz. Are you familiar yeah. with what a Philly cheesesteak is? No, I just assumed that it was roast beef and like some Swiss. Well, it's provolone or it's oh, whiz. No. That's pretty mm. much, yeah, mm. that's how the cheesesteak goes. Hey, you're fucking no, with me, no. right? No. <laughs> oh, oh it is so gross. Wait, do you not know what cheese whiz is? <laughs> oh, I know what cheese whiz is. I didn't know that anyone on the planet ate it, like, least of all on a like niche, nationally consumed sandwich. Well, it's not, I mean, not that national. It's really just Philadelphia. And, you know, what oh, would you put past here. them? Well, okay. I, know, I mean, usually if you get it somewhere else, it has like a normal. If you, you get know, it um, somewhere else, it's bullshit. That's also <laughs> true. And actually, a Philly cheesesteak with Wiz is, that's how you want to get it. Um, oh, no, I had no idea. Wiz, Wiz Wit is wit, what you order. Wit, yeah. Um, wit, W-I-T. I just learned something but, that but, horrifies but the wit, me. The wit is a, another topic, right? And that's what they're asking us about. Is it onions? It's onions. Yes. Yeah. No, it says without whiz. No, one no, whiz. No, one whiz out. without onions. You order, it's, it's no, short, it says if short you order, order one. The sandwich is the whiz, <laughs> I, I have gone to Philly <laughs> and eaten my way through cheese yeah. sticks all over there so many times. I thought it was saying you without the whiz. You have been the there whiz. with me. I have, As I, I have made mistakes, I was beside you. more cheese steaks. Every step I'm, of the way, eating the eating the disgusting deliciousness uh, as well. I'm not ready to yeah, reveal true. the answer. I'm just loving <laughs> yeah, Katie pretty... trying to suss out what no, the question I very, is. Yeah, I have no. I don't even know what the question is asking. I thought we're it carrying went... her across the finish line on this. Right? We're going <laughs> to say onions. The the majority is correct with onions. Chat also agreed with you 100. I just I got to point out to the chat in case anyone's wondering. Uh, Gino's is crap. You mm. go to Jim's. Gino's is where you get your steaks. Gino's at. is the chain we have down here. There you go. Papa Gino's. That is a character I'm from done. the it's, magic it's flute. 
That's my second public service announcement of the night. <laughs> uh, Go for the trifecta. That that and drink Kirkland whiskey. <laughs> That's the question six before it's eleven o'clock. <laughs> question number six. In Hidden Figures, Taraji P. Henson rescued the Mercury mission of what famous astronauts? Hmm. Buzz Aldrin. Lightyear? Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> which one was real and which one was in Toy I Story? I have no idea, actually. <laughs> All right. So Katie's not going to help us on this one either. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting. So uh, this was uh, an astronaut. I mean, you know, the Mercury, the Mercury 7, the original astronauts. Is Marvin? Been one of those guys. I heard he was a Martian. The, of course, the Mercury mission f- famously went to Mars and not you know, a few miles out into space and then right back. <laughs> um, I said I haven't seen any movies, but I have seen this movie. Okay. So Black Ladies at NASA is up my alley. <laughs> uh, and it seems kind of unfair that we're asking about, you know, one of the white dudes in the movie. Yeah. Why is that yeah. just- <laughs> I like, I don't remember the answer to this question because it wasn't really the focus of the film. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, was it Kevin Costner? He was there, right? So the Mercury Seven. I mean, there was like Gus Grissom, and there was uh, was it Alan Shepard and John Glenn. John it's John Glenn. Glenn. There was was uh, Buzz Lightyear not oh. on this one? Uh, Buzz Buzz Aldrin, the the non fictional person, was not one of the Mercury Seven. As I recall. I'm sure they called him that at least once in jest. I do not know this because I saw <laughs> Hidden Figures. I know this because I grew up in Ohio. And John Glenn was a congressman from Ohio, a senator, in fact. Sure. Also, the public policy school at Ohio State, where I went, is named after him. So uh, all, all Ohio kids learn about John Glenn. Sure. <laughs> Did he get flung up into space with Buzz and Neil? The, no, there are more than two astronauts. That's Michael Collins. Of rest, rest, rest Michael of Collins, yeah. the third one. No relation to Phil or Tom. Are we sure? No. (laughs) I don't have time to finish. Actually, no. No one is family. Just assertively asserted, and we're good. All right. Well, uh, Nicole from Ohio says John Glenn. AJ, is it John Glenn? It's going to be really embarrassing if I'm wrong. You are (laughs) correct, Nicole. It is John Glenn. It's only embarrassing if you're wrong and I'm right. Chat also got John Glenn one hundred percent. They are they are soundly kicking everyone's butts tonight once again. Well, I think that they've gotten it all right. I haven't gotten any right, but I think they've gotten them all right. Again, they're cheaters, dirty cheaters. <laughs> all right, are you all ready all right. for your next question? Am I? During. <laughs> <laughs> During World War I, the spy known as Matahari passed info to which major power? Does anyone know the powers in the First World War? Yeah. I mean... Was it, Ax- <laughs> it wasn't Axis and Allies, or was that, was that the no, first No, that was the Second World War. That was War. the Second World War. I play that game. <laughs> yeah. I started that game one time at three in the morning, and it lasted until like eight in the morning yeah that's it has that reputation yeah ah mm-hmm. yeah world war one is the, is the one that people yeah world war one is the one that people don't know as much about because uh their grandparents didn't tell them about it when they were kids because germany lost that one too i know that germany did lose that one and it uh yeah, it's kind of set the stage for the second one because they did not like losing, as it turns out. Something about Franz Ferdinand. That's, yeah, it that is was, that, the, I, guns, I, the Guns they of had that, They had yeah. that one hit. They have had multiple hits as well. I, 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 I st- stood by silently while you slandered Usher, but I will not have you speak badly about Franz no, Ferdinand. Well, no, no, hang on. What was that Great one hit, band. though? Was, was it Take... Take me, take me out. out take me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their best. I was, I was trying the, to say take me home, and I know that was the it. That's Phil Collins. <laughs> disco rock history. <laughs> I really wanted to say take me home. <laughs> <laughs> All no, right, okay, so Matahari. Is it so? Was it the Ottoman Empire or India? Because I don't know if the Ottoman okay. Empire was a thing. Well, so. India kind of wasn't because it was still the British Raj at that point. Uh, the Ottomans and like Austria, Austria Hungary uh, were on one side. 
And uh, th there was, um, yeah, like one of the sites is called the Central. It's, it's not clear if we're talking about the Alliance or one of the countries, right? So this it says major power. Yeah. My guess is we're looking for the name of a country. And, Seems right. Or an empire. France? Is it France? No, if it's a country, if it's a country, if it's a country, I'm going Turkey. This one does. Well, Turkey would be the Ottomans. Right. If it's not, um, I don't think it's India because India is not in the board game diplomacy. No, he told you why it's not India. That didn't exist. <laughs> it didn't, it didn't exist yet. Care about that part? It's not in the board game diplomacy, yeah. and that's set during World War One. Um, All right, panelists, your time is up. Do we have a consensus on an answer? I think it's it, Turkey. This question doesn't even tell if it's a good guy country or a bad guy country. It's not very oh, it's a good guy country. Uh, <laughs> uh, Matahari seduced uh, seduced uh, Germans, I believe, and that's for, how for France how we got information. Eric has just the most America? What if it's just America? I'm All right, pretty let's sure I've watched a, a, a historical YouTube video about this. And All right, I need a I need a final answer. I need a final Eric's answer. Right. France. Yeah. France. France. I want to say France. I will tell you that the chat was torn 50-50 between Germany and France, which means all of you were wrong because it was Germany. Ah. That YouTube video was not informative enough. What a dick, Mata It was like Hardy. the opposite of informative, apparently. <laughs> they were definitely one of the bad guys. I know that much. All right. All right, a moving. Person from Tokyo Rose. I remember Tokyo Rose being a person. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> Moving on, to our, moving on to our next question, and I think this is probably one directed at Eric. What popular blog uses the motto, the blacker the content, the sweeter the truth? <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is not about coffee. I think we just all need to be silent and let Eric work this out for two minutes now. Nope. Nope. <laughs> No. Nope. All right. You're not goading me into that, and I'm not letting you know what <laughs> pornographic websites I visit in my off time. Fair enough. The same ones I do, if you know the answer to this question. The blacker the content, the sweeter the truth. I, I know the expression that this comes from, of course. I assume it's a conspiracy theory site. I mean, or I, I want to take a guess, but I'm also worried that um, I might be taking a bad guess as a white person. <laughs> you don't want to be offensive. No. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, like, the black of the content, that's got to be either. Oh, it could also be dark humor. So it's dark humor, it's conspiracy theory, or it's coffee. No, I'm pretty sure we're talking still about just capital. called comedians, Katie. I'm Do pretty what? sure we're, uh, we're talking about capital B black here. Although it's not capitalized in... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that, that's a weird. I don't know what that. I mean, that but okay, so black and sweet. I think coffee. Mm. You don't know the original quote. I don't. Right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so Nicole, I, I want to guess it's the root, but why I mean, is Eric right? <laughs> <laughs> what is the root? I actually know that it is. It is the root because I'm a I'm a uh, Gawker media fan from. What well, is that about? Is that a gardening site? Katie. No, it's a African American. Why is it called the root? I don't know. The, is it oh the root like the root the move the series? The root. No, I mean, not, not root. Just root. Just. <laughs> if I'm not on you, you don't see movies. I don't see the internet. It's a blog solely about Quest Love. If everyone has clothes on, I'm not interested <laughs> in the content. That's... Quest Love and turnips. Can we get that round in next week's uh, <laughs> in next week's quiz, please? At a Am I talking about the band or the vegetable? <laughs> How is Something that not like a gardening site? Yeah, no, the root. I, so it, it was not originally part of the Gawker family, but it joined at some point and uh, the Gizmodo, the Geo Media, whatever family. And uh, no, I follow some they of also, their writers on Twitter as well. You should. They're uh, fantastic. Yeah, oh, Michael the root Harry, is great. So good. For white people, too. Probably even more for white people. You should read it more. I, I don't read don't a disagree. lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that our <laughs> final answer? <laughs> Yeah. That is correct. It is the root. Chat also got that one correct 100%. Uh, see? Following us around the internet. I like it. All right. Uh, 
Uh, are we on question nine? I think we're on question nine. We are, in fact, on question number nine. Before hops, beer was spiced with what dandelion-like flower with a biblical name? Hmm. Biblical. Hmm. Ruth or right. Reba? Is there a Ruth flower? I don't... Ruth is a book in the Bible. It is, yes. I get points for that. that Ruth and Reba are like the only two books in the Bible I can Reba, tell you that Reba Reba is a country singer. <laughs> is that not a Bible <laughs> It's woman? not, no. 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 But Reba's I had an aunt not, named no. Reba and they named Bible all of... Woman. <laughs> okay, so I can name one. Was Mary a Bible book? It no. was not, but there were several people named Mary, so you're that's good. Esther is a book of the Bible. Sure. Deborah was one of the judges in the book of Judges, but does not have a book named for her. Was there a judge named Judy in the Bible? <laughs> no, but there is a book called Judith in the Apocrypha. Mm -hmm. Here you go. This is my... Uh, is there every an once in a while, going to church comes in handy. This is is there an time. Ezekiel flower? <laughs> not that I'm aware I know of. Ezekiel 2320. It's very I dirty. I know from my... Uh, so here's... Uh, we need to find a, a flower with a biblical name, meaning like, you know, the flower, you know, the Bible has Tula. names of flowers in it, right? Like there's a Iris, lily, there's lily of the Valley, which is probably not our answer because I know from my recent rewatching of Breaking Bad that that one's extremely poisonous. Daisy. Oh, spoiler alert. Iris. Is, tulip. All right. Rose. Nope, nope. You're just, no, nope, no. Nope. Violet. Just, we, we all know how to name flowers. You're turning violet, Violet. Those are all the how about the how about is there a flower called the Rose of Sharon? Ooh, Rose of Sharon. Like yeah. Grapes of Wrath. <laughs> I actually think it might be Daisy though. Mm. Is there a Daisy? No, I don't think so. No. That's from the Dukes of Hazard. Is there a sunflower? In the Bible? Not that yeah. I'm aware of. <laughs> Come on, Katie, keep naming flowers. Burr. I'm running out. I don't remember flowers. That's a spike. Baby's That's breath. A Baby's breath. Is that a? I don't, I don't think so. All right, time yeah. time is up. I'm going to ask you to take your wild swing and tell me what your guess as a group is. I'm staying Daisy. I like <laughs> Rosa Sharon. That's a bold bold choice. Rosa Sharon. It's, it's definitely a phrase in the Bible. But why would a dandelion? Like, is that a book? And, wait, that? oh, does. By biblical name not mean book of the Bible? It doesn't. Okay. Put it on a but, stick. But Reba is still not biblical by any definition. Is it Rose <laughs> of Sharon, AJ? We got nothing. It is not. It is Marigold. Mar oh, because of Mary. But I was right. Not, no. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the chat, true. the I chat also <laughs> shit the bed on that one. They they were torn between Star of Bethlehem and Saint John's Wort. <laughs> mm. oh, Whoa, Saint John's, John's Wort would be really really weird. Yes. <laughs> well, we've only got one more, which once again probably a blessing. I'm gonna drink AJ, my marigold uh, free beer right now. What's the last question of the tactically correct round? Last question of the round. By the ruby rings of Ragador is one of the many nonsense catchphrases of what superhero? Isn't it ruby rings of Ragador one of the books of the Bible? <laughs> is that Thor? <sighs> like... Are you just going to start naming... <laughs> comic book heroes like you did flowers and minimum. Well no, like Ragnarok sounds like Ragador. It's got the Raga part. Sure, but also is different. You'll notice it has several letters that are not the same. I know that Wanda in WandaVision Wanda had like red things that came from her hand. Were they ruby or were they rings? So this is a nonsense catchphrase. So I don't think that we're looking for something that pertains to the character per se. Oh, so like maybe a jokery kind of hero, like the Joker? Would he say Yeah, that? a nonsense. Well, no, he's a villain. That, but that a famous superhero, the Joker, could be an answer, yeah. Okay, it depends on what team you're rooting for. He could be a superhero or a supervillain. Okay, that checks out. I'm, yeah. 
you seem like the kind of person you, you like pulled a lot of heads off of Barbie dolls and shit. Didn't <laughs> yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you say that I actually did. We had a, I had a toy. <laughs> I wasn't Barbie. joking. I had a toy Barbie car, and I never really understood like playing with dolls. Never made sense to me, like as a child or as an adult or just in general. But what I did think was hilarious was to take their heads off and put their heads on the front of the car and then tilt their bodies forward and say that it was a drunk driving scene. That was. It upset my sisters and her I'm not really even like I had to cross myself. I, I feel nervous. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I didn't know what else to do with it. I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't understand it. We need an answer. <laughs> Please don't talk about this anymore. <laughs> Mighty Mouse. I'm kidding. Oh, Mighty, Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse? It sounds like something Mighty Mouse might say. Is he a superhero? It's a rodent. Yes, he's got a cape. He's a superhero. Here That's I come to save the day. A... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. The tick. I don't think so. He never said that. But he said a lot of weird shit. I've seen the Amazon he show twice. You're not wrong about that, but he never said that. I I, I know the tick. If, what about I was the say, if, Spoon is Eric looks like the kind of guy who's watched and read every every everything the tick's ever done yeah all right your time is up panelists what is your answer i'm, I'm going one. with mighty mouse i think Agreed. it's mighty mouse i have no sure. better answer mighty mouse is incorrect it is dr strange uh, I don't know who that is. I'm gonna hear an earful. He's, he's played I by. It was, not he, he, he was just played just by come. Bandersnatch Cumberbund in the oh, MCU. Then they Cumberbund. We're back. <laughs> That's okay. The chat got that one wrong too. They all thought it was Shazam. That oh. makes more sense because that is a very silly thing to say, and Shazam is even sillier. And there's another Zachary Levi tie-in. Hi, Zach, if you're watching. All okay, right. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks right now. I feel like we've talked about this. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, woo! We are bloodied and battered and bruised, but we are ready for our second commercial break. When we come back, it's time for Technically Incorrect, where we'll be getting stuff wrong on purpose or right by accident. You really never know. Either way, don't move. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Technically Correct, and specifically to our second round, Technically Incorrect. But first, remember that you can check out Geeks Who Drink pub quizzes in bars across America just about every night. And live online, uh, live online most nights, including right here on Twitch every Monday. You can even hire us to do a quiz just for you. For more information about all that, make sure you check out geekswhodrink.com and follow us wherever you get your social media. Now, technically incorrect. In this round, the panel will still have two minutes to answer each question, but there's no more teamwork. It's everyone for themselves. That means that we're going to be actively trying to psych each other out, and maybe you too. At the end of the timer, we'll all write down our answers and show them to the camera to see who's right. But your job is the same. Just answer in the chat. In the first minute, by typing exclamation point, the word vote, a space, and then one of the multiple choice options. All right, AJ, start us off. I am muted and the audience can't hear me. What most common human STD has also done terrible damage to Australia's koala population. <laughs> I just mm. like the mental image of koalas fucking. I just want to be very I mean, first of all... Don't of judge, course, Nicole. I see that look. <laughs> Don't judge. All God's creatures... You do fuck. you. All right. <laughs> and the koala. I want to be very careful who I throw to you and say you seem like an STD expert. Um, Eric... <laughs> everything else fun happens in new mexico why not rampant sexual diseases why not mm. um you i, I don't know time down down under. Under. With, the, with the koalas are are a fucking terrible animal copy pasta that's on on reddit and shit mm -hmm. uh, sure. chat do you know what i'm talking about here uh koalas are just the worst creatures fucking ever um, their brains uh, are, are 
incredibly small in their skull and their skull is incredibly padded to keep them from falling out. They only eat eucalyptus, which they are not equipped to eat. They are not designed to eat that, yet they will only eat that. By the way, they are also so incredibly dumb that if you take eucalyptus leaves and take them off the tree and place them right next to the tree, they will starve to death. Hmm. Look, all I'm hearing is a lot of hate towards I one say, of the cutest, you, cuddliest creatures on the fucking planet. You they're not cuddly. Are you coming they are near an answer, Eric. Vicious little they're murder bears. Disease-ridden drug addicts. Yes. Did any, uh, and all that's right. what makes them so adorable. Have you not seen the show Shameless? Frank adorable from character. the person who rips doll heads off. I, well, I didn't rip them have... off. I gently removed it. I didn't want to like destroy anything. And that answer, doesn't sound better. They pop right off. Because we have to give answers in this like, round. <laughs> And my answer is syphilis, and it makes their little dinguses fall off, and that's why they call them drop bears. Oh, you should not dark. write I mean, that. you sound correct when you say that. Very persuasive. It's chlamydia. Tell well, you Well, write it down on a fucking board and show it to us, Katie. <laughs> Let's get your answers. <laughs> oh, everybody's got a good guess with chlamydia. And everybody's right. It is chlamydia. The cutest animals ever will give you chlamydia. Despite everybody what, got, despite got what chlamydia. evil Eric has to say about them in his vile, vile fake news reports. All right. As a reminder, we're all trying to give answers to this question. AJ, did the, uh, did the chat get that right? The chat did get that right. Barely. Barely. 50%. 50%. Chat needs to spend more time on Reddit. Well, and remember, no matter how cuddly they look, don't get close to koalas. They all have chlamydia. All if right. If you already um, have chlamydia, there's no danger. That's why they're so cute. Oh, you can't give like, them anything. I don't think I mean, true. they can't give you anything. I mean... Question 12, AJ. <laughs> Uh, Katie, stop thinking about koalas fucking. Uh, next question. A frog kick powers what slowest stroke in a standard swimming medley? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Katie is our, our resident stro slow stroke expert, as she's demonstrating so ably there. Katie, what do you got on this one? It's the peach rub. <laughs> the sausage massage. Hmm. Okay. The doorbell ringer. Have you ever seen swimming? The Have mouse clicker. Human beings swim. No, but I've seen human stroking. All right. Eric, do you have an answer for this one? Who did that song, Stroking? Clarence Carter. Clarence Carter. Clarence Carter. Clarence Carter. Clarence Carter. Oh, God. <laughs> Clarence Carter. You don't get a point for that, Christopher. So, I would give him a point. I think, it's, I think it's oh shit. I think I misquoted it actually. Anyway. I know exactly one swimming thing and I'm writing that swimming thing down. All right. Nicole, <laughs> has anybody watched well, swimming? I have seen Michael Phelps. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very confusing to me that there is a swimming uh, event called the freestyle, which is like actually a stroke. Like it's not yeah. free. Oh, it's I like thought that freestyle. I literally, I really thought freestyle meant just get from one end to the other. Go. No, it's I like mean, a specific that, that, one. Well, that's what it means. It's just everybody does the front crawl because that's the fastest one. Okay, so I guess that's what answer. I mean. I guess I mean front crawl. <laughs> is front crawl the answer? Because right now that is not what I, I have. Written well, down. we're all trying to psych each other out because it's a technically incorrect round. So. I tell you guys, the right answer technically all the time. incorrect assumes that we know the answer. <laughs> To psych everyone else out. All right, that's a fair there's, point. There's and a I never know the answer. Plan I, here. I knew incorrect like doesn't mean not also truly incorrect. We're truly correct. It's Can our whole show not have an existential crisis tonight? Let's just. I, uh, I know the it. butterfly stroke. And that is yep. an actual swimming thing. That's not just a weird sex thing that I do from time to time. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> that I'm not the one that wrote a question about stroking. <laughs> All right. Uh, Slowly, edging the, is the edge right. of stroke. Two, uh, two minutes is up, weirdly enough. Uh, oh what God. are your answers? Butterfly <laughs> what? Oh, breast is a good I one to stroke. stroke. Backstroke, I, I backstroke, backstroke, breast stroke, yeah. and butterfly like an eagle? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, Christopher, you walk away with the point for this round. It is, in fact, nice. the breaststroke. Oh, the, the audience breaststroke also... The kick, right? The audience also got you with that one. Yeah. We should get, more, we should, we should get like, ten choices to choose from. I don't think it's fair... If you want to give us some help, all right. We're not, Why we're, would we give you choices? Have you heard me try to find answers? I'm not good at this. That's half of the show. So I need it's a handicap. Ten, give me a handicap. All ten of her choices will be synonyms for penis, and then she'll still just like spin out and die. All right, let's do uh, yeah, question thirteen. Let's do the next question. Those stoic Buckingham Palace guards wear hats made from the skin of what fearsome? Animal. Hmm. What animals have black fur? Bears. Yep. Panthers. All right. I'm going to tell you this is uh, here's here's the answer to this question. The answer is uh, bulls. They're fearsome animals, and of course, it's, there's a reason why they call them the beef eater guards. And that's why, because they wear hats that are made of bulls, furry bull skins. So I wrote down buffalo. Is a buffalo related to a bull? Buffaloes have, have that. Buffaloes have, have black them. hair. Sure. All right. Katie says, Katie says buffalo. Eric, what do you got? Um. Uh, I've been there. I've seen the hats. I've looked at the hats. And I wonder asked, if I could put one of those you, hats right? on my head and people would still automatically look at me and go, that's a Jewish guy. Uh, <laughs> but I don't actually know the answer to this one. Um, I'm trying to think of what fearsome animals exist uh, on the British Isles. Uh, grouse. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah, that's there. Pheasants. Do they have new triers? Welsh. Just the Welsh. The people. The, the people. Welsh, Welsh people. <laughs> the, entire, the cast of train spotting. 15 people named Llewellyn just got very angry at you, <laughs> Eric. Uh, Nicole, what's your answer? So, like, I th- I interpret this as fearsome is, uh, I, like, sarcastic. So, hmm. is it, like, poodles? Sheep. <laughs> Sheep. Sheep. Shit. Yeah, it's like something that's not fearsome. Uh, I mean, you know, British people do kind of hate Fran- the French, so just killing and stuffing poodles to put on their heads <laughs> seems like kind of a thing. You know, we don't need to start making a list of things British people hate. Look, <laughs> everyone. I bet they hate Floridans, who we've already shit on today. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right, your time is up, panelists. Let's see them boards. <laughs> Honey Badger, don't give a fuck. <laughs> Buffalo, mink, and bear for Eric Cohen. Eric, you get a point. The correct Wait, no, answer is right. bear. No, no. Okay, no, no, that is not. I'm not okay with. Like, I'm wow. actually upset about that now. They're not seriously killing them, are they? Koalas. <laughs> I mean, the bears aren't voluntarily giving them their skin either. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. Maybe they're just recycling ones that were already died. You know, I said buffalo, but I think I was thinking of the Flintstones because they had the loyal. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buffalo. sure there's there's Very wild buffalo hats. roaming the the highlands or anything. How many? Uh, anyway, all right. AJ, what did the chat say? <laughs> the chat got bare 100. percent I'm not okay the with shit. that. All right, rub That's... it in, chat. I'm not okay with that. And that's where Winnie the Pooh came from. I'd All say right. I the, would refuse you to You want drink. to know the, the key to getting that one right? Yeah. Stonehenge, built by the Druids. Druids, as a character class in Dungeons and Dragons, wear bear skins. I think I just regained my virginity a little bit. <laughs> uh, Christopher, chat would also like to remind you that there are no buffalo in the United Kingdom. Yeah, that's a new world animal. Uh, honey badgers. Doesn't mean they can't make hats out of them. All right, we got one more question before the break. Let's do that one. All Let's right. To us. Question. Caronome is a famous tune from what Verdi opera about a smart ass hunchback? I know one hunchback. Oh, I see. I see that there is no hyphen in smart ass, so we must be talking about a sarcastic. Hunchback, as opposed to a uh, very you know, like a, a goodwill hunting situation, right? Yeah, like all right. 
Well, my, I mean, I, I would definitely go with the most famous Verdi opera that I know of, which is La Traviata, that I believe is Italian for smart ass hunchback. Who wrote The Hunchback in Notre Dame? Not, uh, not, not, is not Verdi working for Disney connection with under under license of uh, well of course verity could set a, a victor hugo novel to music why not was the hunchback and everything named victor hugo, it's, I, thought, it's I, victor hugo. I, I really thought that it started as a disney movie i did not know that it had a prior history that checks out all right eric <laughs> what do you got <laughs> no idea. uh i am i am drawing a blank on operas that uh uh aren't carmen right now uh hmm. and i'm i'm nearly that is a correct answer for the rest of you three. Okay. Uh, Carmen is the answer. It's just yes. Carmen. Okay. Carmen is an opera. I will grant you that. I know Carmen San Diego. Nicole. Carmen is a Spanish opera, <laughs> um, but. I don't know anything about opera. And in fact, when you do trivia, sometimes it's like that dreaded opera question. This is that dreaded opera question. Nobody asked me shit about opera. I don't know. What's the Pirates of Penzance? Is that an opera? Sure. A comic opera by uh, Gilbert and Sullivan. Gilbert not, and Sullivan. We're sure it's not Verdi. Not online. Giuseppe Verdi. Hmm. What about, there's one, it's got a Madam Butterfly. Also, an opera. It's true. Is it Verdi? It is at least Italian. It's uh, Giacomo Puccini. Is he lying? No, he's telling the truth about that. I saw. I saw it last week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I saved the only other one that I know for my answer. All right, that's in Egypt. <laughs> I have Egypt. no idea. All right, let's see. Rigoletto. La. I can barely read that. Nicole. La Triviata. La Triviata. Pagliacci and Adia. Um, Pagliacci was the clown. Oh, that's am, all I got. And Pagliacci. The correct answer was Rigoletto. Very nice. That's why they pay him the big bucks. That's why. <laughs> or, or he pays other people the big bucks, and maybe these are the bones being thrown back after the feast. Oh, is that uh, seriously? We're doing that. <laughs> Someone's now? getting paid for this. <laughs> Not me. Not me either. <laughs> All right. I think I forgot to read this throw last week because I was way drunker. With one quarter to go, it's anyone's game. No, seriously, we're going to ask you to vote for the winner. Anyway, come back after this break for the last six questions of Technically Incorrect. See I'll you accept then. pity points. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Technically Incorrect, where we're all a bunch of lying sacks of shit. Well, we're also sitting. We are sitting, lying sacks of shit. Remember, in the first minute of the timer, look for the multiple choice options and type exclamation point, the word vote, a space, and then your selection. AJ, take us away. All right. Leslie rules a magic kingdom until she breaks her neck off page in what tearjerker YA novel? Wow. Wow. Leslie rules a magic kingdom until she breaks her neck off page. What tear jerk? Oh, this is a d- apparently deeply painful for Nicole to think about. Don't ask me shit like this. <laughs> sounds so- a bit, sounds like a tear jerker. All right. Okay, well, Katie, so Katie has seen a lot of YA novel covers as our resident, you know, Turning them into dirty visual round. Person. I was told I had to stop turning the young adult ones into dirty visuals. Oh, that's right. That's that, right. that avenue of pleasure was shut off about a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, Your Honor. Okay. Well, do you, regardless, do you have an answer? Uh, the Phantom of Toll Booth Plaza. The Phantom. The Phantom Toll Booth. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Norton was there a less? I mean, was there? I'm, I'm gonna need help for this. I will write whatever y'all tell me. I have. I know. <laughs> Nancy Drew no, and I mean, the Hardy Boys. I mean, because you know, the Phantom Toll Booth definitely is about a magic kingdom. I think that this is a. a plot it's it's not a tearjerker, is it? I mean, is it? Well, tragically boring, maybe. Why do we? Uh, why would we spoil that for people? All right, Eric, you got an answer for us? Uh, the Fault in Our Stars. Now we're talking. All right. Yeah. That, that's a cancer movie. I know that. 
Oh. I'm sure someone in that hospital had a broken neck. But were they a magical kingdom princess? With the power of imagination, Katie. (laughs) You can be. That's true. Mm, I do. I did not see the Fault in Our Stars, but I do like John Green. I really like his podcast, Anthropocene Reviewed. He's but, got a new uh, book out this week, I think. It's and Anthropocene also, Reviewed. <laughs> oh, that's, I see. Yeah. And uh, and he's also a Hoosier, like like myself. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Uh, maybe it's like Twilight. I don't know. <laughs> I can't name sure. anything else. <laughs> uh, All right. Time, time is up. Uh, Let's see what your answers are. Richard Terabithia, <laughs> Phantom Toll Booth, Dealey Plus, <laughs> The Princess Diaries, and Divergent. All right, Christopher walking away with another point for Bridge to Terabithia. Chat he was also paid. on your he side paid. for that one. I, I have not read this book. I just know about it. <laughs> I remember as a tearjerker, they're, they they go like the bridges in a forest or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't read the book. I'm sorry, did, did, did you tell us, AJ, did the chat get that one? The chat did get that one correct. Yeah. All right. The chat also paid off uh, editorial, actually. Is... <laughs> well, <laughs> That's how they were able to pull the money together. <laughs> an involved conspiracy theory yeah, yeah, yeah. at this point. All right. What's our next question, AJ? Our next question Ask for some sweetbreads and you may get served what tea organ where tea cells mature. <laughs> oh, wow. Katie's uh, very excited about this. No one. <laughs> but too bad. We're not going to you first. Nicole, what do you got? Uh, yeah, this is gross, right? So yeah. I'm going to go with the large intestine. <laughs> Because it has a T in it. I say, well, yeah. <laughs> but let's make sure that we all get that. We say it was okay, a but the T is thing. not in quotes. It's not in fucking quotes. <laughs> Isn't that show? It's actually a silent T in front of intestine. <laughs> it see the T in the middle of intestine. <laughs> mm. What 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 organ with a T in it? <laughs> all right, uh, Eric, what you got? Consoles. Okay. I don't have jokes about Tom. That kind of oh, makes sense, yeah. Okay, we've gone through two, and these are the I best used to have organs some, you can come up with. I used to have some uh, jokes about tonsils, but then they were removed. Let me, I want to give an answer. <laughs> you know, sometimes not saying anything is is worth it for everyone else's sake. I feel, <laughs> I feel attacked. No, I think it was my dad joke this time. No, that, that was definitely directed at Christopher, but continue, yeah. Katie. Testicle. Hmm. How am I the first person to say testicle? I said, is that, that that's your answer, and you're not just yelling testicle at random like you sometimes do. Testicle. I whispered <laughs> it there. All right. Uh, Can we get some my... ASMR? Is that like on the hashtag? <laughs> <laughs> testicle. That seems like exactly what ASMR was invented for. So thank I you think for so. That. My answer is the thyroid. Well, that's the that's the the organ the thyroid gland is the first uh, organ I think of when I hear T organ. So my only objection to this question is that they gave you T organ because I think the common misconception is that this is the brain. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people think it's brain, and it's not. It's brain adjacent, isn't it? Is it? All right, folks. Time is up. <laughs> We've got thalamus, thalamus, thyroid, and thymus. Eric walking away with a new point. Ah. It is, in thymus. fact, the Are thymus. Are those not the same fucking thing? They have different the letters thing? in them. <laughs> fucking hell. It's geek ball rules. If you make a whole new rule, if you make a whole new word, we don't accept it. The audience <laughs> also completely missed the mark on that one. I feel like yeah. this discriminates against Texans. Uh, they did agree with Thalmus at 60%, but, I mean, that was wrong. Yeah. So is that at least an organ? It is, I, it is. It is. And there's something underneath it, which is called the hypothalamus, and that's all I know about that. Oh, I thought that was that's a That's only scene. because I know a little bit of, you know, Greek etymology. I was this many days old when I learned that those weren't the same damn thing. God damn it. And neither of them seems the thyroid. All right. 
Uh, question 18. Uh, we're in the home stretch. <laughs> New question for you panelists. Though their name means horsemen, Disney's three caballeros are a rooster, a parrot, and a what? And a rabbi, right? And they Steve all walk Martin. Into a bar. <laughs> all right. Disney's three caballeros are a rooster, a parrot, and a what? Fantastic question. No, it's not because I don't know. I don't even have a like uh, incorrect, wrong, correct answer. Well, you've got a second to think about it because we're going to go to Eric first. Thank God. <laughs> uh, I thought there were two parrots. <clears throat> <laughs> but I, I may just be confusing that movie with the entirety of uh, the Tiki Room at Disneyland. Fair enough. No, no, no one's with me on the on the Tiki Room. I don't know what you're talking about. We were poor and did not go to Disneyland. <laughs> Sucker. We played like is three VHS room, tapes in a row and called it. Is the Tiki Room where you get a Dole Whip? That is where you get a dole room. That's what Ooh. I thought. Yeah. Fun, All right. fun tiki room fact. That was the uh, it was a separate ticketed uh, uh, entry at Disneyland because it was the only place that had air conditioning originally. Makes sense. Nicole, you got an answer for us? Uh spent some time in LA. I'm, I did spend time in LA. I object to Disney because fuck that bullshit. And that dude was racist and shit. I don't like it. Mm. Also, parking is difficult and expensive. Why would I go to Anaheim? Uh, <laughs> you live in DC and are complaining about parking. That either says something right. terrible about Disney or I don't own a car because I don't need to. Um, I mean, what if it's a trick and one of them actually is a caballo? Maybe it's a horse. Oh, interesting. All right. Meta. I like it. Katie. Peacock. Got? It's a bird. A it's a bird. And it looks drastically right. different from the other two. I Maybe. actually am sticking with the bird theme as well, but I'm going to say a duck and specifically Donald Duck. That's oh. I actually think it's some, I actually, my best guess is that it's not a bird at all. And it's just something entirely different. <laughs> all right. Your time in Donkey Kang. <laughs> Oh, telling the truth with duck, dog, duck, duck, dog, Donkey King. No, it's duck, duck, goose. AJ, God damn it, get it right. Isn't it like duck, duck, gray duck in Minnesota? A duck was too good to be true. <laughs> duck, duck, gray goose. What was the way? answer? Hey, what was the answer, AJ? The answer is in fact duck. So that is a point for Eric and Christopher, and the chat also got that right, but only at seventy-one point forty-three percent. Oh, it was so close to throwing them off. All right. Was Donkey King one of their options? <laughs> no, but it probably fucking should have been. It should have been. <laughs> All right. All right. We are ready for the penultimate question by my math. But when do oh, we get no. to the second to last one? But ah, Third base. All right. We actually have uh, four questions left. Four questions left. This is not the penultimate one. I know that. <laughs> not even the anti-penultimate. I am not that kind of linguist, but I am that kind of linguist. Look at counting. I thought it was too Hashtag. good to be true that we might be done at last. <laughs> I was hoping this was going to end sooner than later as well. My beer can says motherfucker on it. I'm just... I was trying to speak this into the universe. All right. Um, next question <laughs> for you all. In 5.4 billion years, our sun will shift from a yellow dwarf to what other color size combo? Hmm. All right. Well, Katie, our resident space alien, why don't we start with you? A red elf. <laughs> Prove me wrong. That's usually what I order when I go to the bar. It's delicious. If, I, if I'm wrong, you should tell me what the correct answer is so that I know that you know that I'm wrong. Otherwise, if you just tell me I'm wrong without telling me what the correct answer is, I won't know that you know. Yep. <laughs> Mostly just grenadine, by the way. That's what I read. Well, tell are... me the correct answer. Well, let's go to Eric for the correct answer. Uh, it, it's the, the, the name of our favorite British comedy show from the 80s, Red Dwarf. 
Yeah. All right. That's, That's the one with Hugh Laurie, right? Mr. Bean? Nope, not even the same still, actor. Still another person, yeah. Mm. Yep. And then uh, we've just run through the number of British I, 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 I wish I could pull the chat myself because I'm curious how many other geeks who drink uh, enthusiasts were really into space when they were a kid and their first real sense of existential dread was reading about how our sun is going to explode and and kill off everything we know of in this in you know it, it, on earth yeah it's uh, probably not like next week though uh nicole do you have an answer for us okay so i feel like it has to move over roy g biv so like maybe <laughs> it's gonna turn orange <laughs> G is after if it's moving over Roy G, it's R O Y. No, no, it's It'll going the green. other way. It's not going. It's not going green. It's not green in space. But there okay, is. So orange. I actually, I did. I had the same thought though, and I started at the the end of the spectrum. <laughs> so it's going to be violet, purple, but yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, orange, orange dwarf. I, I went purple. Orange Julius. <laughs> <laughs> purple nurple. <laughs> Blue giant, red giant, red giant. That is. A red giant. That is a point for Nicole and a point for Eric. Why do you people know this? The chat also got that correct. I knew it was was a little nerdy kid who was into space. I was saying, I knew it was going to get bigger because that's... Can we just solve math questions one episode? Just one episode, nothing but partial differentials. African American history. <laughs> you can get that episode if I can get my PDE episode. I had to get my partial differential fix at the muffler shop last week. It was expensive <laughs> as hell. Did you hear about the football player that saved a kitten from his differential from his Maserati? They disassembled a Maserati to save a kitten. Am I the only one that reads the news? This is important shit. <laughs> <laughs> It was on the front page of the New York Times, you guys. Uh, <laughs> AJ, we have X number of questions. It's, uh, it's apparently, crazy. I can't freaking yeah. count either because now we are, in fact, at our penultimate question. Uh, <laughs> so neither of us was right about how many were left. Though. Nope, nope, nope. We're, Did the don't chat worry. get it right? <laughs> chat, we're sending everyone an abacus. This will not happen next week. <laughs> I'm crying. This is what I'm like. I'm crossing off numbers as we go along. You need the abacus so you can actually physically, so you can touch the ball. Just touch the touching the ball is my solution to most things. But uh, for actually, what it's for what it's worth, the the chat did get Red Giant correct one hundred percent. I assume that was a trailer a trailer hitch joke, and I love it. All right, let's go, <laughs> AJ. Next. All right, next question. Tupac Shakur studied dance as a teenager. Once playing the Mouse King in what classic ballet? Oh, I fucking know what. See, this isn't a Tupac question. This is a fucking ballet question. <laughs> I don't know. Second week in a row they've done that to you. Tupac is definitely in it. I, like, I see his name in the question. I think that counts. There All was right. a TV show where there was an entire plot about someone wanting to play the 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 king the mouse king and then like their mom managed to worm their way into it somehow and the mom got the role of the mouse king what the fuck it was a it's a comedy obviously was it sister sister no no no, no. <laughs> sounds like something jack hey all right do. so let's start with um and this is a, a really easy really obvious one as katie pointed out of well, course because um, i know it it's easy and obvious I mean, because you explained it's so quickly how you knew it. And the answer <laughs> is, it's Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf. Uh, the Mouse King was, uh, the, I, I believe, the villain in Peter and the Wolf and was played by a bassoon. I say, I know that every animal in that movie was played by an instrument. Exactly. I mean, it wasn't a movie originally, but yes, uh, I... you are correct. Yeah. All right, Eric, what do you got? Uh, I, I don't have any good fake answers to throw you off. Okay, there are other ballets. <laughs> yeah, I You're know. Aware of that, right? You know, like you throw it's, out some. The nightman coming. We are learning that I'm uh, a, an unclassy fuck over here. Nicole, this say, thing. Eric. These questions are too highbrow for us. Uh is it like Swan Lake? That's a ballet. See, see, Eric, that's a ballet. I can name one. I can name a ballet. 
<laughs> Natalie Portman was in it. You I was about to say Black Portman. Swan. <laughs> I've only seen selections from that movie. Were they the naked selections? Mm. And was no it on comment. a site? Uh, Some text is just as good as the text came. Was it a site that collected those <laughs> naked clips? By uh, all right, hey guys, two minutes is up. Isn't that weird? Oh, I'm gonna be nice and give a point to Katie for Nutcracker as well. It is the Nutcracker. I mean, it's only your second point of the entire round. I may as well give you one. I had another one from what? I don't know, something in the first half. It's been a minute. (laughs) Yeah, none of us can keep track of anything. That's what we've learned tonight. That's our takeaway. I'm going to take it. I don't care if it's a mistake. I'll take it. But the chat also got it. that correct 100%. Yeah, it was a pretty easy one. All right, so we've done the anti-penultimate. We've done the penultimate. That means we must have one more left. Let's the just, ultimate. We, we, we are on the ultimate question. The and it's Uranus one near question. and dear to my heart. In 2013, someone paid almost $10,000 for what piece of memorabilia from the Breaking Bad Pilots. No. Oh. All right. I'm going to write down what I hope the answer is. Well, why don't you say it out loud, too? I'm gonna, I hope that it's Walter White's underwear. <laughs> I don't know if that's it. I'm writing it down. I'm going all in on this. Uh, I would pay that much. I, she's going all in on Walter White's underwear. All right. Nicole, is this one of the pieces of pop culture you've managed to consume? No. <laughs> oh, all right. But I did go to the Poyos Hermanos pop up in LA, but I think they come up later in the series. Yeah. From what I've heard. That is, yeah, yeah. Um, wasn't he like in a trailer? Did someone buy the trailer? That'd be cool. It'd be a good price yeah. for ten thousand. I yeah, no, he and he ran out of the trailer in his tidy whities and an apron. Let's be fair. It was an RV, not a trailer. It had, it, it what had is the difference? Engine. Hang on, hang on. What is the difference? Well, a trailer is something that you tow behind something, hence the name. Whereas a recreational vehicle moves under its own power, hence the name. Interesting. Yeah. I buy that. I buy that. Yeah. The RV has an engine. The trailer home doesn't. I think that my answer is um, that ball of human flesh that leaked through the bathtub and the floorboards in the bathroom. And I think eventually went up in the basement because, so, because Jesse didn't get the right kind of tub when they dissolved uh, crazy eight's body. That's my so answer. a fat bird. I, it's not going to fit on this whiteboard. I <laughs> you just know. put fat bird and we'll know what you're talking about. Yeah. That is what it was. So we going about you, Eric. <laughs> uh, I, I quit down underpants. Hmm. I, I hope that that is it. I don't know if it I, is. I used to live next door to the uh, apartment that Jesse and his girlfriend had in the show. Oh, yeah. Kristen, Kristen Ritter. It's probably oh, a baggie. I love her and don't it is the bee. You know what? It's probably <laughs> the baggie. It's a baggie of blue. It's a baggie of blue rocks. I bet, but I'm writing underwear. All right. That is the end of our round. What are your answers? <laughs> <laughs> Meth, gas mask, <laughs> underpants, and Walter White's underwear. Katie has stumbled her way into a correct uh, answer right off of the bat. They, in fact, spent $10,000 on those tidy whiteies. This, Game by the Lord. way, is the opposite of right off the bat. This is like, <laughs> at the very end, I'm fingernails hanging onto that cliff. <laughs> I mean, uh, $10,000 for something touched by Brian Cranston's nutsack. That I have is... been trying to sell my underwear for $10,000 a pop, and so far the best I could get is like 50 Have you tried having Brian Cranston's nutsack? All right. Have you tried selling them as an NFT? The chat get that right. The chat did get that right, but only 71%. The other answers were uh, primarily for the RV. Yeah. I feel like more would have gotten that right if anyone other than me had been the first to advocate it as a correct answer. All right. And with that, we've come almost all the way to the end of the show. All that's left to do is for you to tell us who won. Type exclamation point, the word vote, a space, and then the first name of the person you thought did the best job tonight, whatever that means to you. But Eric Cohen is a monster. <laughs> wow. We, we, we trust you, um, even though Katie doesn't trust Eric. But before you do that, we should probably find out, AJ, which one of us scored highest during the technically incorrect round? 
Well, the audience obviously whooped all of your butts, but in terms yeah. of sheer points, Eric comes out ahead this evening, barely squeaking you out by one point, Christopher. All right, so Eric is our points leader, but again, you can choose however you like. Uh, of course, audience, uh, well, I already said that part. Either way, we're going to find out who it is right after we pay a few more bills. So see you in just a couple minutes. Okay, audience, remember that the fun doesn't stop when we reveal our winner. You can see everything else we're up to at geekswhodrink.com and or by following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, what was that thing, that, that BJ Novak thing from The Office? Whoop. I think we're on that, too. Oh, and subscribe to this channel before you leave, would you? We like it. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's find out who our winner was, AJ. Who Don't was forget there. Meow Meow Beans. The yeah. final winner of our event tonight, with 50% of the total vote from the audience, is Nicole. Nicole is our winner oh. this week. Coming in a close second with the write-in vote was Alf. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, our first two-time winner. I'm technically correct. Very exciting. I know that she's not going to win next week, which means something to us. I'll tell you, she's not going to be here. I'm going on vacation. And that's why she's going on vacation. No, we're to not going to tell to you where. To St. Croix. Shh, oh. Don't tell them where to find me. <laughs> Guys, now the paparazzi are going to be all over her. Anyway, thanks for watching, as always. And make sure you come back next week to find out if I can't say this now, if Nicole is still technically correct, she will be, but she'll be on an island somewhere. Bye, everybody. Technically Correct was filmed in front of a live internet audience.